Hey everyone, Tech Dimension with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update your iPad in two different ways. So let's get started. Now the first option is gonna be the most popular way to update the software on your iPad, and that's gonna be using in your Wi-Fi or cellular data or known as over the air update. So in order to do that, you need to be either connected to a strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. Once you have that, the next thing you wanna verify is in the settings, go to general, and then click on iPad storage. And you wanna make sure that you have at least 10 gigs or more storage available. As you can see here on this iPad, I'm using up 15 out of 64. That means I have more than 10 gig. So I can move on to the next thing, which is verifying that your iPhone battery charge here has at least 50% or more charge. Now, if you don't see it, you can turn on that battery percentage or you can connect it to a charger while looking to do the update. Now, once you have uh, done that, it's time to actually update the iPad, which you'll do by going into your settings, going to general, and then click on software update. Now, from here on, it's gonna automatically check if there's an update out, and if there is, it's gonna pop up like this, give you a little description what the update will do, and give you an option to download and install that new update. And generally, when you update your iPad, you're just gonna click on that, and it will begin the update process, just like that. And again, it will take somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer, shorter, depending on how big the update is. Now, if you don't see the update here and you know there's the update that was recently released, the next way to check it's going to be using a computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here I have one of the MacBook that we're going to do it. Now, if you don't have a MacBook, you can also do the same exact step using iTunes on a PC or a computer. Just simply open up any browser and then search up iTunes, which is a free app that you can download and install for your computer, similar to how we're gonna be using this Finder app on our MacBook, which is comes in on the newer MacBook that you can just connect it that without downloading. So if you have a MacBook, just use the Finder app, and if you have a PC or Windows computer, go ahead and download uh, iTunes, and you'll follow the same exact step after you have downloaded and installed uh, iTunes. The thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and connect your iPad like you would connect when you're charging it to the computer. So I'm going to take one end of my USB-C cable here and then the other end to my MacBook. And same process you'll do on your computer as well. Once it's connected, it might ask you to trust it. If there's a pop-up, go ahead and click on trust. And if not, just on the location you're going to click on it or on the iTunes, click on iPad. From there on, it will automatically start checking the update. If there is an update available, it will say either check for update if there is, or it's gonna click on this update option. You can click on update here, and it will begin downloading the update once you confirm install. So that's gonna be another way to update your iPad. So if the over there doesn't work, go ahead and try this method. And hopefully after doing this, you'll be able to update your iPad to the latest iOS version. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.